I'm gonna call that a total success. Hello Drone Racers, I'm Mark and today on Drone Racer 101 we're going to take a look at the real ACC RX 5808 Pro Plus OSD running Achilles. It comes with Achilles, you don't have to do the upgrade. Achilles was originally some free software that was written for several types of these types of modules, the RX 5808, and then the upgraded version came out for the Pro 58 module, the Ishin module, and this was great because this was only $25 but it had super upgraded hardware in it, it was really really fast, and you could load Achilles on it for $25. The problem was this doesn't have a USB port so you had to wire it up and it's a little bit tricky and difficult. And then they came out with an OSD option for this and that required some really really intricate soldering. I've not done it yet just because I haven't wanted to go through it. I will, I'll do it, but I haven't done it yet. This for $50 comes with all of that done. It's all upgraded, Achilles is already running, the OSD hardware mods are already done and it has a USB port. So future upgrades should be really easy, theoretically. I don't know how this is wired yet. I've not tried this yet. I'm not gonna plug this into a USB port until I finish this review because I wanna see how it works first. Then maybe at the end, we'll give this a shot and see what happens when you plug in USB. As soon as a new version of Achilles comes out, then we'll actually do an update video for this. So in case it wasn't obvious, this is a module for Fat Shark style goggles. Now I tested this in all the module bays that I have. I'm gonna be using this today in my Dominator V3s and it fits beautifully right in here. The one thing this doesn't have that the Pro 58 does is double stick tape. I kinda like that that came with double stick tape ready to go. I'll have to add some to this to make it stick in better. You can also buy this with or without a cover. I got mine without a cover accidentally so I printed one that I'll be using. I tested this in the Top Sky goggles and the Falcon goggles, and those were both fine. So I'm going to put a piece of double stick tape on here just because I like how it makes it stay in a little better. Okay, I tried my cover, but I actually don't like the way it fits, so I'm gonna go without it. And with this double stick tape, I think I'm gonna be just fine. So it should just slide in here. Make sure we're in all the way, and then push it down against the tape, and we will be good to go. Take the screen protector off just so you don't all make fun of me. Now when we power the goggles up, we are running Achilles, and it already came with 1.8, which is the latest version available. We have all the options with the dominators. The dial is really, really easy to get to. So we can do a manual ch channel scan. We can do an ultra search, which it's not gonna find anything because I don't have anything powered on. Um, we have lots of options for manual selections. I can store favorites. I can do event modes. I can do a whole band scan. Um, if I want to find my model, if I lost it, this is really handy. You can take off your bi-directional and you get put your directional antenna in place and it will go and find it. It'll make noises as you point at it. Pretty cool. I've actually used that before. Lots of settings. So you'll see the OSD is already on. Let's see the alarm. Oh, and the calibration. Apparently it's already been calibrated. I don't know. I haven't checked it or changed it yet, but we have the OSD on. Um, OSD resolution is PAL, so we'll have to see how that works with the models. Here's the one thing I don't like, but I think it's configurable. So you can change how long it stays on these pages before you make a change. Um, so we've got lots of options and more coming here soon. But what if you don't want to have to take your goggles off to look for your channel? So if I've got the goggles on and I power them on, we can see very badly with this terrible camera. And now if I click and I go into the menu, I can see what channel I'm on. I can go through and select my display. I have exact same options that I did on the other screen and I didn't do any wiring for this. It just works right out of the box. All I did was plug these in. Like it doesn't get much better than that. And then it will do a scan. So once I'm flying, it'll show me exactly what I've got. But that's the next question, once I'm flying. So let's see how they look. So I'm gonna take both of these out and record on both of them at the same time. Closest setup I could have to matching the same antennas, the uh, real ACCs do have a disadvantage because they have adapters because I got the RPSMA version. When you buy this, make sure you buy the one that matches the antennas that you're gonna be using. So this was the first flight I took out with it. I am wearing the Sky Zones, which is always a little bit of a disadvantage compared to goggles that are sitting there. But I'm wearing them and I get out to about this point and I'm starting to get some breakup. So I go ahead and turn around. I'm testing a model that I, uh, I didn't exactly trust. So I turn around early, but the Pro 58 and the Real ACC modules were totally clear at that point. Now here around the tree, I always get a lot of breakup right around this tree. And the Real ACC seemed to break up a little more than the Pro 58 there, but neither one of them were bad. 
and they both do a lot better than the sky zones out with a range test. Out here where we can see, they both stay a lot clearer. Okay, so this is the first time I've really worn these and taken them out. Now this is, I am on 25 watts very purposefully. And wow, that looks really clear, really, really good at 25 watts or milliwatts, sorry. That is outstanding. Holy cow, that's 200 meters away on 25 milliwatts. And that looks great. Wow, super impressed. Um, I am incredibly happy with that. Now, I, on uh, the R9M from FreeSky, so that's why my RSSI is so high. So on the other side of the tree, I get a little bit of breakup. And uh, the antenna on this model is not ever in a good position but uh yeah for range wise really super happy with that this is with a directional antenna and these are just cheap real acc antennas um but i have lots of them so i use them a lot i am so happy with this and having the on-screen display is really handy yeah okay i'm gonna call that a total success so that was spectacularly good and may have me rethinking what I'm going to be using for goggles because that just worked excellently. I mean, that looked that looked great. I, I'm so happy with that. A lot of times I do get a little breakup. I purposely had a 25 milliwatt, not a 200 milliwatt. Normally I will only fly 200 milliwatt when I'm going out that far just to make sure I have good connections. And with 25 milliwatt, you know what it was it was great so i'm super happy with this and it was really easy to use so as soon as achilles 1.9 comes out assuming there's going to be a new version we will connect this up and i'm not going to i'm not going to plug it in today because i'm going to use this for more testing and i'm not going to risk it yet but as soon as the next version comes out uh, i will have an update video i'll try and get this up to date and go there and if i fry it i guess i'll probably buy another one i don't know that it's better than the pro 58 but it's so easy to use. It's so just so easy. Um, you don't have to do anything. You just buy it and plug it in, and it's great. And it will compete. I will, I will say it, it. I think it competes with the True D or the LaForge or just about anything out there. I do not have the Immersion, but it's a third of the price of the Immersion. This is $50. That's $150. Clearview, I, I'm sorry. I don't think they're even in the running at this point. They're too expensive for not enough gain. But if you want an easy to use one, right now this might be my top pick. If you don't mind the soldering, the Pro 58 is a little bit cheaper, but you have to do it every time. It's not bad the first time, it's when you want to redo it. And so I've, mine are still on 1.7 just because I don't want to solder it back up again to do a 1.8. It's just not worth it. With this, where it's USB plug-in, that could be totally worth it. Totally easy to do. Maybe, if it works. I don't know, we'll find out. I'll have to do some research on how to get that done. If you found this useful, leave a like and a comment down below and let me know, what do you think? What's your receiver choice now maybe i'll do a poll up in the corner let's do a poll if you have one of these goggles what's your pick if you're starting now because it ranges everywhere from 25 to 150 dollars so until next time remember having all these module choices is really nice but you know what there is something to be said for the amways and the sky zones just they just work and you don't have to worry about it unless you want to buy one of these and connect that up so you now have an external module and those have all the same external module choices now Review coming soon.